Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and thank you for watching. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day makeup look. Um, something kind of like red, pinky tone, something very sultry, sexy, smoky, all that good stuff for Valentine's Day. Tonight I'm filming and I'm drinking a espresso martini instead of an actual coffee. So I got my cocktail here. I'm ready to get into this makeup look. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And um, if you want to see how to get this sultry Valentine's Day makeup look, then just keep on watching. So I think I'm just going to do a talk through video. I haven't done one of those in a long time. I usually just do voiceovers. And I think I'm just going to do my eyes first, just in case there's some fallout. Per usual, for primer, I'm just using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and then I'm just going to set that down with like a white or cream toned powder. So for today's look, I'm going to be using the original Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And for my Initial transition shades, I do this every time I use this palette. I'm gonna go in with these two light brown shades, just mixed together, and buff those into the crease. I'm going to go in with this shade here, just adding a little more depth into the crease. Now I'm going to take this brush from Moda Pro and it's pretty fluffy but it's also kind of like flat. I'm going to mix these two shades together and start buffing this in on the outer and inner parts of my eyes, kind of starting to create a halo eye effect. I'm just using super light pressure as I apply this onto my eyelid and buff it out. As you can see, I'm holding the brush towards the end of the handle so that allows me to have a bit more control with blending and I'm also kind of being messy with this because since I didn't do like face makeup or anything everything that falls below my eye I can just wipe away with the makeup remover later same for right here we'll wipe this away to make it more sharp go back in with my first original fluffy brush just to help kind of blend this all out. That same brush I'm just going to pick up this deeper red shade and again place this in the outer and inner corner. I'm kind of trying to place this in a V shape on the outer corner um, to give it more of like the cat eye look. And then as I'm placing this shade into the inner corner, I'm kind of like just tapping and packing it in there instead of swiping um, to just build up that pigment in that area. And then I'll go over it again with the fluffy brush to blend out any harsh lines. And then I'll just keep on packing on color until I get it to where I want it to be. So this could be like, as dark or as light as you want it and this is kind of the trick with halo eyes you want to just keep packing and blending packing and blending until you reach what you're looking for this red shade that we're using now in the original Jaclyn Hill palette is honestly one of my favorite eyeshadow shades ever it is like 
just such a pretty red. I love it so much. And with a smaller precision brush, this is the Morphe M507. I'm going to pick up this shade, this like super, super dark brown. And again, place this just in the outer and inner parts of my eye. I'm literally just using this small brush to place it and then I'm going to blend it out with the same brush that I was blending that um, red shade with. Now I'm going to just take some of that MAC Painterly Paint Pot again and just kind of clean up the center of my eyelid a little bit before I put on another color. And this will just help that color be a little bit more vibrant on top of these other shadows by giving it just a clean base to sit on top of. Now I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus. I'm going to go in with this shade right here in the Jaclyn Hill palette and then just place this on the center of my lid. Well, this um, lid shade is a little bit more like pink than I wanted it to. I want some more like coppery tones um, in this. So I'm going to try this shade right here and just put it on top of what I put down. We're just using the same brush. took some more of that red shade and I'm just kind of blending the edges out again and then I'll probably add more of the dark brown shade too. Okay so the eyes are complete so we're ready to move on to the face. Oops, ignore the mirror. <laughs> um, so yeah all I did was just clean up underneath um, where all the fallout was and just kind of sharpen up the edges a little bit and I did my eyebrows onto the face. So just for primer, I'm going to use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Illuminizing Primer. I'm going to take a sip of my cocktail while that primer sets. Foundation, I'm going to use the Hourglass, um, what is this called? Vanish Foundation Stick in the shade Vanilla. For concealer, I'm just using the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer in the shade Marshmallow. I'm 
I'm kind of using this concealer to um, additionally like clean up the edge right here and kind of create a sharper line for the uh, eyeshadow to set down that concealer with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face down with this Maybelline Superstay Pressed Foundation. I'm going to take this Makeup Gate Cosmetics Single Shadow in the shade White Lies. I've used this to clean up my eye area a bit, so I'm just going to kind of... Oh, that was super pigmented. This is on the brow bone and this is going to just clean up that area where the shadow went up way too high. Then also in this area on the side of my nose almost I'm going to place this just to brighten up that area. It almost kind of acts as an eraser. For bronzer first I want to go in with a shimmery bronzer so I'm going in with the Too Faced Sun Bunny. And then just to add a little bit more definition I'm going in with my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium and I'm just going to Add a little bit of contour to my cheeks. And then I'm also going to just do my nose real quick. While I'm at it, <laughs> I'm just going to contour the upper lip and also underneath my lip to create the illusion of larger lips. I'm using my RCMA powder, I'm just going to clean up that contour line underneath. This compact is broken so I can't hold it off, but I'm using the Big Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder to just kind of um, smooth out and brighten up underneath my eyes. And then I also put this on top of my nose and like around my mouth area and chin to kind of like soften that contour a bit. And same with my forehead, I'll put it in the center of my forehead just to highlight there in case any bronzer came down too low. Okay, moving back to the eyes, I'm, I'm gonna go in with this dark shade, this dark brown shade again. Okay, make sure to place most of the product on the outer corner of the lower lash line and then just kind of lightly buff it inwards so it's not so heavy on the inner part of my lower lash line. And I'm going to go back in with that like dark red shade again and just kind of buff this super lightly on the lower lash line. Kind of like dragging it up to the top to kind of connect the top and bottom a bit. And I'm just going to take like an angled fluffy brush and take like this really light brown shade that we used as the transition and just kind of buff this on the lower lash line just to kind of help blend this some more, smoke it out a lot and make it not so harsh. I'm not going to do a wing but I do want to take my black liquid liner. This is by Haken Henry's so Just Look With It. Um, lickety black <laughs> liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to place just a thin line on my top lid 
So my camera shut off right as I did that, but um, I also took this Urban Decay, just iPad, it's a black eye pencil, and just lined my waterline and tight line. I'm going to take this highlight shade and just highlight my inner corner. Just whatever's left over on this brush, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with that same shade and then just kind of rub it out. I'm just going to curl my lashes and then apply some mascara. I'm using the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara right now. And I'm not adding falsies. You can if you want, but I'm just not a falsies girl, so I'm not doing it. And it's like 11 o'clock at night. Well, for blush, I'm going to use the Jouer um, blush palette and I'm going to use this top middle shade called Marigold. And I always like to put a little blush on my temples and the tip of my nose too. I don't know why, but it just looks cute. For highlights, throwing it back to an oldie but a goodie, I'm using the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. So for lips, I'm going to line them with my go-to nude lip liner, ColourPop BFF. I'm going to use the Persona liquid lipstick in the shade OG. And for, I'm going to add just a little bit of gloss. Um, I'm going to use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Amber. And that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Valentine's Day makeup look. And again, if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.